In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share high res full screen slides in a Teams meeting from PowerPoint Presenter View if you only have one screen. See, the challenge is, is you want to be able to see your notes and use all that expert functionality of PowerPoint's Presenter View, but you don't want the audience to see all of that. You want them to only see the slides. So I'm going to demonstrate this using my other laptop that just has that laptop screen, nothing else attached to it. So I'm gonna go over here and the Teams meeting of course is already running and I have my PowerPoint presentation open. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into full screen slideshow modes. The regular slideshow mode, I can do that from the slideshow ribbon here, the shortcut keys, or what I usually do is I just go to the little button down here at the bottom and click on slideshow. And it puts into the full screen slideshow. Then what I do is I'm going to move my cursor down to the lower left hand corner. I'm going to click on the three dots. And when I do that, it gives me a menu. And in that menu, I'm going to select show presenter view. Now what this does is it flips from slideshow mode to presenter view, but it did not close slideshow mode. See the way presenter view works is that it has two windows, the presenter view window and the slideshow window. So what we're going to do is we're going to share that slideshow window in the Teams meeting. Now, because this is Windows, I can make the, the presenter view window not full screen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll make this less than full screen so I can see the rest of what's going on. And so now I can see all my notes, have all the functionality and everything, but I also see in behind the full slide so I know exactly what the audience is seeing. But I need to get back to those Teams controls because I need to share that slideshow window. The way I'm going to do that, I'm going to go to the Windows timeline. So I'm going to press Windows tab, and it's going to show me all of the open windows that I have on the computer. And here's my Teams window, so I'll click on that. Now I have my Teams controls. So I'm going to go up to my sharing, and I'm going to say I want to share a window. Now you'll notice there are three windows for PowerPoint. There's the presenter view, the slideshow, and the editing view. You want to make sure you select this slideshow window. That's the one you want to select to share in the meeting. When I click on that, it now shares that window in the meeting. You'll notice from the attendee screen, you can see they're seeing the full screen of the slide. Now what I need to do is get back to my presenter view window. Again, we're going to use the timeline. So I'm going to go Windows, Tab, go back to my presenter view here, and this is now my screen that I'm going to be able to go through. So I'm going to use my arrow keys or a remote or whatever, however you use to advance slides. And you'll notice this is full presenter view. I have all the build, the animations, the morph transition. I have all the tools here of inking, zooming, everything, because I have as the presenter, I have full screen slides going to the audience, but presenter view is what I'm using. So I have all that functionality. When you're done your presentation, you can simply stop sharing in Teams, the normal way to stop sharing in Teams. Now I'm not sharing anything in Teams. I can go back to presenter view and say, end the slideshow. So that's how you can share full screen high resolution slides in a Teams meeting from Windows running presenter view when you only have your one screen on your laptop. It's a great technique to use, especially for those of you who only have that one screen or you're traveling and you only have your laptop with you. Try that out in your next meeting. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.